If you haven't heard the news, a few days ago, Nintendo revealed that the Switch Lite is getting a new splash of color in the form of coral, and it looks absolutely beautiful. This got me thinking though, between this new Switch Lite and the Animal Crossing Switch bundle that is coming out around the same time, is it worth buying a Switch Lite or a regular Switch? Let's chat about it. What is up my friends, it's Ray back here and today we're going to be comparing the Nintendo Switch Lite to the original Nintendo Switch. Now, I made a few videos a while back when the Switch Lite originally launched where I talked about these two systems together. But this year, things are growing even more interesting between these two with new colors, special edition bundles, and even Animal Crossing coming out. That is a huge system selling game. And if they don't already have a Switch, a lot of people are going to find themselves debating between these two two systems. Before we get started though, I did want to let you guys know that I officially launched channel memberships here on my channel. If you notice now beneath each of my videos, you're going to find a little join button next to the subscribe button. So if you enjoy the videos that I've been pumping out and find them helpful or entertaining or just want to help support the channel in a new way, now you can and get exclusive content and perks in the process. This is definitely going to open up the doors to some cool things that were never before possible. This is not begging. This is not pleading this is just informing you guys that memberships are now live and if you want to send me a cup of coffee to get me hyped get me excited get me ready to keep making videos well now you can so should you buy a nintendo switch Lite or an original switch well it really depends on how you plan to use the system the 199 dollars switch Lite is a handheld only portable console along the lines of like the game boy the 3ds etc whereas the 299 dollars switch is a hybrid home console so not only can you play games on the go but you can also play them on the big screen as well so that hundred dollar price difference is justified by having more features and being a bit more flexible with detachable joy-con controllers access to tabletop mode hd rumble and so on it is worth noting for gamers streamers and content creators who record a lot of gameplay footage the 299 dollars switch is going to be the only way that you can do so since you basically can't use a capture card at all natively with the switch Lite. so that's something to keep in mind if that that's your field and if that's your thing. With all of those extra features, it might seem like the Switch is the clear winner here, but again, like I said before, it really depends on what you're going to be using the system for. The Switch Lite is the overall better handheld experience bar none, and with it, maybe you might not miss having all those extra bells and whistles. I put together this little video comparison a few months back for my definitive Switch Lite review that details the difference in price, features, specs, and more. I turned this into a GIF, and a lot of you guys may actually find it helpful because basically it's kind of like a little 15 second buying guide that shares with you guys like the difference between the two consoles and it really is actually pretty helpful. Even though the Switch Lite seems inferior on paper, it is honestly my favorite model out of the two and I find myself using it much more often nowadays. It plays pretty much all the same games, it's thin, it's light, it feels awesome in your hands especially with the flip cover case and it's just great to just toss in your bag and just go. Ah, so it's pretty obvious that I'm a little more drawn to the the Switch Lite than I am the original Switch and I think the main reason behind that is portability. Even though the original Switch is almost just as portable, there's something about a dedicated handheld console that you can just basically throw in your bag and just go. Like I did it with the original Game Boy all the way up to the 2DS and now the Switch Lite. There's something about always having a console with you and the Switch Lite is awesome for that. Especially with the flip cover over here, like this thing is thin, light, it's compact and it just feels awesome in your hands. So, I mean, it's no wonder why I'm a little more like biased towards this guy. So having said all that, have you decided which one you want by now? At the end of the day, no matter which model you choose, you cannot go wrong with the Switch or the Switch Lite. If you like traditional handheld consoles like Game Boys, 3DSs, DSs, etc., you're going to love the Switch Lite. But if you need a console with more flexibility or the ability to dock and play on the big screen, the original Switch is going to be the better option. Personally, I use the Switch Lite as my handheld console when I'm out and about on the go and the Switch as my home console. The two actually worked very well hand in hand, especially with Nintendo Switch Online, the save data backup. You can basically pull down the latest save file from your game onto whichever console you're playing on and you can pick up right where you left off. They actually surprisingly work very well hand in hand. 
Anyways, guys, that's about it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and found it helpful. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button because it always helps out the channel. And also, let me know in the comments box down below which you prefer. Do you prefer the Switch, the Switch Lite? Do you have any thoughts? I would love to know what you think down in the comments box down below. Choosing between the two can be pretty tough for first-time buyers, so I hope this guide did help you guys out. And until the next one, I will catch you guys later. Get out there, go game, and have some fun. Peace. Cause I don't wanna